In this video, we'll learn to add two-digit numbers. In everyday life, we need to add two-digit numbers when it comes to money, when it comes to adding different items all together. And two-digit numbers are numbers like 24, 38, 14, 99, because they have two digits. So 24 has a two and four two digits. 38, that's three and eight. 14 is one and four. 99 is nine and nine. Whereas eight is a one digit number because it has just one digit. 103 is a three digit number. So we'll focus on these ones, the two digit numbers. I'll add two different amounts here. I've got 13, so I've represented it with this, but there is 10 and 3. So there is the three, the single cubes and 10, which is represented through this one, meaning one block of 10. Plus, I'll add to it. 25. So I've got 13 at 25. So 25, there are two blocks of 10 and five single small cubes. How much or what does this add to? So I'll start adding the cubes units because I might be able to make a block of 10 with them and transfer them to the tens. So let's see what do I have. So I've got, when I put these together, I've got 1, um, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that makes 8. So the units make eight and when it comes to the tens I've got a block and another two so that's three blocks of ten so the answer is 38 so all together this is 38 which is represented by the three blocks of ten so this three is represented by the three blocks of ten and these eight represent the eight here, the units. Now I will look at another example. I'm going to add 42 and 39. and we'll work out the answer. So I'll represent 42, four blocks of 10, represented by this four here, and we've got two single cubes, the units, and 39 is represented by 30, so three blocks of 10, and nine so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so i'll try and add them starting again with the units let's see can i make 10 with these so i've got nine already in here so I'll try and make with the rest of them a block of 10 so I've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 got 9 and another one that makes a block of 10 
So I've made a 10 which I'll need to transfer over to the tens. And what is left from the unit? There is just one. So I will put a one here for the unit. Now I've got a spare or an extra one, a left one, which I like to write here at the top. So that is represented by this. So let me count. I've got one, two, three, four, five, the four and the one five, six, seven, eight. So this is represented by the eight here. So all together, 42 and 39 makes 81. So if we go back to it now without the cubes, we've got 2 and 9. When you add together, that makes 11. So I put the 1 from the 11, the unit 1, there, and I carried over the 10s. So 10 goes up there and the 1 stays there. So there we've got 10. And the 40 makes 50, and the 30 makes 80, so 81 altogether. I'll do just one more example without the cubes. So I've got now 58 plus 34. So I've got 8. And 4, that makes 12. So I'll put the 2 down and the 10 goes over there. So in this 12, when I added 4 and 8, 12, I'm keeping the units here where the units should be. And this one, which represents the 10s, goes to the top. So I've got 5 and the 1, 6. And the 3 makes 9. So 58 and 34 makes 92. Let's just do a final example. So we've got 15 and we're going to add to it 27. We've got 5 and the 7 makes 12. So I'll put the 2 down in the 12 and I'll transfer over the 1 which represents 10. So 1 and 1 makes 2 and the 2 makes 4. So that is 42 that I have. This method is called the column method but there are other methods as well which I'll go through. In this video we'll learn to add two digit numbers using the partition method. As the name suggests partition is about breaking numbers down into parts and I'll show how. So we've got here 13 and 25. 13 can be broken down into 10 and 3. So 10s and the units separated. 25 is broken down into 20 and 5. Now it's easy for me to add the 10s together. So we've got 10 and 20 makes 30. 3 and 5 makes 8. So 30 and 8 makes 38. Let's look at another example. We've got 42 and 39. So 42 is broken down into 40 and 2. 39 is broken down into 30 and 9. 40 and 30 makes 70. 2 and 9 makes 11. So 70 and 11 is 81. So this is how to use the partition method to add numbers. In this video, we'll learn to add two digit numbers using the number line method. I've got 13 and 25. I'm going to add them together. So what I'm starting with is the number 13. 
what I will do, I'll break the 25 down in my head into 10 and 10 and 5. So I've got 13. If I add 10, that makes 23. So that's gone. If I add another 10, that makes 33. So that's gone as well. If I add 5 now, that is going to be 38. So I've added all of them and my answer is 38. Now we'll look at another example. So we've got now 42. So we're starting with 42. I'll add to that is 10 and 10 and 10 and 9. So I'll add 10 to make 52 and another 10 to make 62 and another 10 to make 72 and 9 to make 81. And that gives me the answer. So this is how you use the number line method to add two two-digit numbers.